In this video you will learn about the menstrual cycle and its importance in fertility. I will also discuss fertility charting and how this can help you to plan the best time to conceive. I'm Chantelle Oxley, naturopath and trained teacher in natural fertility education. It's important for every woman to know how her body works. When trying to conceive, it is extremely important to know when you are most fertile. The menstrual cycle is divided into four stages. Menstruation, the follicular phase, ovulation and the luteal phase. So the first phase, menstruation. It represents the first five days of the menstrual cycle. Bleeding occurs due to the uterine lining, also known as the endometrium, being shed as no pregnancy has occurred. During this time, the hormone follicle stimulating hormone, or FSH, is released. And this stimulates between 10 to 20 follicles in the ovaries, and it's the start of the follicular phase. The stimulated ovaries start to produce estrogen, which triggers the endometrium to start thickening again. By around day eight, one of the follicles becomes dominant, which is known as the graphene follicle. The rise in estrogen from the graphene follicle stimulates the glands of the uterus or the cervix to produce mucus. Vaginal mucus secretion is a good sign of fertility as it aids in conception by trapping the sperm to enable it to travel to the egg. At around day 14, luteinizing hormone or LH is secreted and this triggers the mature ovum or the egg to be released by the graphene follicle. Once the LH is secreted, then ovulation generally occurs within 12 to 36 hours. After ovulation, the luteal phase begins. The empty graphene follicle now turns into the corpus luteum, which starts to secrete increasing levels of progesterone in response to the luteinizing hormone. The progesterone hormone continues on from estrogen to stimulate the production of the endometrium. This starts to thicken and create a healthy blood vessel rich area for an embryo to develop. Progesterone also induces a temperature rise of about 0.2 degrees. If fertilization between the ovum and the sperm doesn't take place, then menstruation will begin around 14 days after ovulation and the presence of progesterone will cause the vaginal mucus to dry up. If fertilization does occur, the fertilized egg is implanted in the endometrium and the pregnancy hormone HCG starts to secrete. This enables the corpus luteum to continue releasing progesterone to support the pregnancy. Now that you've learnt about the menstrual cycle, I will talk about fertility charting. Fertility charting enables you to record each day about your menstrual cycle. You'll be given some charts for you to write your information in. The important things to check for to include in your chart are vaginal mucus secretions to ensure that you are producing fertile mucus and to a lesser extent measuring morning temperature to help confirm that ovulation has occurred. Once you've been charting we can work out if you're having a fertile menstrual cycle and when the best time to conceive is. So for more information on the menstrual cycle and fertility charting please refer to your patient guide or you can discuss this at our next consultation. 